Audacity does much more than just record your voice. You can alter what you've recorded or apply effects to existing recordings. Welcome to the level 2 tutorial. Let's talk about how to apply these basic effects. Before you can apply effects, you'll need to have some audio to work with. I'll use what I've recorded here from the previous tutorial. You could also bring in an existing sound effect, and depending on which version of Audacity you have will depend on where you go to import sound. I'm using version 1.3, so to do this in version 1.3, we would click on File, and then Import, and then Audio. In the window that opens, select the file you would like to bring in to work on. Audacity supports many types of audio files, including MP3 and WAV files. These are the same steps you would follow to add music to your recording, which we'll talk about later. First, let's talk about deleting parts you don't need. To do this, you'll need to highlight the area you wish to delete. Audacity has a selection tool, just like programs like Microsoft Word. Make sure the selection tool is selected in the main toolbar. Then, find the area which you wish to delete. Click once with the left mouse button. Highlight that area that you want to delete. When the area is highlighted, simply hit the delete key on your keyboard. That's it. The area is now gone. Now let's take a look at applying basic effects to your recording. Before you can add any effects, you have to select which area you want to apply effects to, just like you did when deleting. So let's highlight an area by clicking the left mouse button and dragging over to highlight an area we wish to work with. Once we have the area selected, we'll go up to the menus and click on the effect menu. On the menu, you'll see many options for different types of effects you can apply. Right now, we'll cover a few of the more popular and basic effects. First, let's change the pitch of our recording. With the area highlighted, we're going to select Change Pitch from the Effect menu. This feature will let you raise or lower the pitch of the recording without changing the tempo or the speed of the original recording. If you're changing the key of a song, you could use this top option and select what the original key of your recording is and what you would like the new recording to be. If you don't know what key you're changing, you could use the percentage slider here on the bottom of the window. Negative numbers will lower your recording, while positive numbers will raise the pitch. A level of about 50% change will raise or lower your recording one musical octave, with numbers in between raising or lowering your recording less than that. Play around with the numbers and click the preview button to hear what your recording will sound like. So you see that we've lowered a little bit and I'll stay with that. And once you're happy with what you're looking for, we'll click OK to apply the change. That area is now lowered in pitch. Now let's apply three effects where the name describes exactly what they'll do. We'll start by adding an echo to the recording and I'm going to highlight just the section here at the end in which to do this. You'll notice I'm also highlighting some of the empty area toward the end. I'll explain in a minute why I'm doing that. With the area highlighted, we'll select Effect, and we'll click Echo from the Effects menu. The reason that we've allowed some space after the area which we wish to echo is because we want some room in our recording for the echo to be able to take place. This space up in here that currently does not have any speech in it will serve for where the echo will take place. You'll notice in the window that come up you have two features, the delay time and the delay factor. The delay time is the length of each echo. So if you pick one second, your echoes will be one second apart. The delay factor is how much the echo delays or fades away each time. A value of zero would mean no echo, and a value of 1 would mean each echo is the same volume as the original. So you want your number to be a decimal between 0 and 1. A value of 0.5 reduces the volume of each echo by half. Smaller numbers will make the echo die out more quickly. Higher numbers will make the echo stay at a higher volume. Play around with the numbers until you get the echo you are looking to achieve. Once we're happy with what we have, we'll click OK to apply the change. Now we're going to try the repeat feature. 
repeat basically is exactly what it says with the area highlighted and we'll just use that same area here at the end of the recording we're going to click select repeat from the effect menu this effect does exactly as it says and will repeat what you have selected tell audacity how many times you want your selection to repeat and i'm just going to choose three and it will tell you the length of what your new selection will be your original clip was a certain length and when you repeat it three times it'll tell you what that total length is going to be once you've inputted your number click OK to add it to the recording you will see up above now that clip that you highlighted is now repeated three times and has been inserted into the recording finally let's reverse the recording with the area highlighted and I'm just gonna highlight this small section here at the end we'll go up to the effects menu and click reverse now you're not gonna have any type of box pop up because it does exactly what the name says once you've clicked reverse it's going to reverse exactly what you have recorded so what originally was recorded as one thing is now going to play backwards kind of a neat effect uh, if you're trying to do something speaking backwards or you could use it to also have some music play backwards as well if there's ever an effect you don't like you'll need to undo it immediately after you've added it and you can do that by clicking on the edit menu and then undo whatever your choice is once you move on and apply other effects you cannot undo previous effects without undoing all of the others as well well there are other effects such as amplifying changing speed changing tempo and more if you'd like to learn more about those continue on to the next tutorial or you can select one of the other levels you'd like to explore if you're done for today click on the finale on how to save and close out your project go ahead and make your selection now